Hi, I'm Maria Volpe Viles, Associate Vice President for Education here at the Association of Corporate Counsel. And I'm joined today with Vita Richardson, President and CEO of ACC. And we are going to be talking about our Securities Law and Disclosure Seminar. So, Vita, I We've been working together on this program for six years now. This is our sixth year. And I know when you first created the program, you did it with a lot of specificity. So maybe can you share with us why you decided to bring this program to market? Sure. Well, as you know, we kept hearing from members as they moved through a number of our leadership development programs that securities law financial reporting was a stumbling area for some and an area where they thought they needed more professional development to be stronger candidates for higher levels of management and ability to serve in their companies. So when I heard that, I thought about the fact that, wow, this is my former area of practice, and I've trained so many junior lawyers to feel confident about this area of law. So I was excited about applying knowledge that I had from my past life as in-house counsel to build a program that would help more senior lawyers reach to the next level in terms of their ability and understanding of securities law and disclosure. That's, that's amazing. And I, from speaking with past participants, I know that this has really served them very well. Um, we have graduated roughly 50 or so individuals through this program since the beginning. Can you share with us what level um, or who should be taking this this class. Can you share with us right. what that would look like? This class is for people who may be on the succession path to be a general counsel, who haven't had uh, exposure to this area, and know that they need a command of securities law, disclosure, financial reporting, in order to feel confident appearing before audit committees and supporting the work of executive comp. So for people who are at public companies and aspire to more, general counsel who are new to a public company and need to fill in this area of their background very quickly for an executive level understanding, or any company that is pre-IPO and knows that they will soon be encountering these laws in a very challenging way. Exactly, and it can be very complicated, so we definitely want those people to definitely. be well educated. And for those who are pre-IPO, they need to know what they don't know so they don't inadvertently make a mistake that would cause their offering not to go as well as the company would expect. Blind spots are incredibly yeah. important in this area. So, okay, we've talked a little bit about who should attend. Can you share with us what that experience is going to look like? Yes, well, when I thought about this program and the fact that people were trying to quickly ramp up, it seemed best to have a concentrated three-day period. So we bring people together for an in-person experience that I really think is unmatched because we combine it with learning about the offering process, learning about the disclosure process, both heavily on 33 Act, which takes you to market, and 34 Act, which maintains your disclosure over a period of time, the 10Ks, the 10Qs, the 8Ks, the annual report, proxy statement, we delve in deep and I know from um, working with people to share this area of law that you walk away like acronym soup. You know, there are all these letters and numbers and, and, and regulations to remember. So it's concentrated and that three days feels like a baptism by fire. So then I thought, well, what do we need to do to make it stick? Yeah. So this is not just a three day concentrated program. It's really a year of executive education where quarter by quarter, we reinforce what you learned in those three days in very practical, real ways and give people a lot more confidence by the end of that year of learning that they have an executive level command. It's, it is an amazing program. I've, I've sat through several of them now and I can say um, with all honesty that I've walked away with a lot. Um, I've learned a lot from being there as well. So is there anything else that you would want to share with individuals considering attending this program um, other than what we've already discussed? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what I'm most proud of, which is we say to our attendees, we're going to work with you. Um, if you need an additional refresh, we'll set that up for you. And that's why we make this deep commitment and can't really take on a huge class. So I'm really proud of the fact that for the 10 to 12 people, 
you know, who are part of this cohort, we make a deep investment in them. And I feel a sense of pride almost because we say to people, you will have an executive level command by the end of this program, or you can repeat it or you have your money back. So we have 100% satisfaction. And I feel that's the real measure of delivering that we've watched people walk away, come back to us and tell us, you know, I've, I'm now general counsel of a public company. I'm commanding, you know, this group. I know um, this area of law. And it all started with the program that we offered. So it can't be more gratifying than that. Exactly. It really, it really is a fantastic program, and I am always excited to work with you on it and look forward to this year's uh, program in July. Yeah, we hope that we'll see some of our members there and look forward to serving them. Exactly. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Maria. <laughs>